Yes, it is that cold. Happy Monday, peasants. It's newsish. Alright, so first up in some exciting news, it looks like Rihanna has actually launched Fenty Hair. Now she did tease at it at that event that she had where all the South Africa, oh not all, but you know, some South African influencers were there. So it looks like right now it's not like wigs or extensions or anything, but rather hair care products. And I mean, Rihanna has been known to have edgy hairstyles throughout the years. I don't know if she's known for hair care like Beyonce and that whatever it's called sacred whatever don't care about beyonce that makes sense because we know beyonce has got you know lavish hair but rihanna plays around with styles and extensions and clip-ins a lot so i don't know where it's coming in but i hope she does fun things like accessories and all of that stuff and it's fun to see that like billionaire recognize billionaire i mean look at me i'm definitely rich anyway in other news it looks like tim's is um tim's has an album dropping and i think it's called out in the wild and she's got an album premiere party or whatever don't know where it is so jealous that it's not here but i know we can't expect for it to be here but it is sold out i mean we've been talking about tim's the whole week guys she is the girl that she thinks she is and it's so amazing to do it see her doing the things and also she's thick as Dude, you know what I mean? She's just beautiful. She's sultry. She's a god goddess. She's an African queen. So I love her. And some awkward news. It looks like J. Cole actually got snubbed at Tesla. So someone who was also there buying a Tesla, you know, rich people things, as I said, like me, um, filmed him just basically being ignored in the dealership. The people didn't really know who he was. He was there taking videos, I guess, trying to figure out which car he wanted. And they kind of made it seem like he was just any other regular dude and it's like first of all for anyone to even be considering buying a tesla you know they're not regular i would know but to ignore j cole like that i feel like i need to reach out to him in the dms and send him some comfort in the form of inappropriate images anyway <laughs> speaking of inappropriate the king of some of that stuff is flavor flavor now if you don't know him he actually had a, so a show called flavor of love and he's a rapper and he's just he's funny okay so apparently red lobster is kind of going out of business or going through financial troubles so he decided you know what i'm gonna go there and i'm gonna buy the whole menu not invest some cash not buy some franchises and flip them up and turn them up i'm just gonna go and order the whole menu so I'm sure that whatever $1,000 that he spent didn't even make up for whatever expenses that they're going through. And like I said, as a rich person, I personally would have invested some cash. But anyway, the premiere is touching base with me and Makadi, another rich girl. Check this out. What's up, everybody, boys and girls? It's your girl, Shamiso, a.k.a. Shameless. And make sure you catch the next edition of Touching Base with the one and only Makadi. <laughs> Award nominated and more to come, right? This one is the one that I'm going to do. She's been a teacher's week. This is the one that I'm going to do. I'm going to MTV Base. Touching Base. <laughs> And as you know, MTV Base is all about the youth, and it is Youth Month, and we have something for you. So make sure you stay tuned to Channel 322 and check this out. The history in the books they documented. Not for clout, but because we made it happen. We don't chase. We attract. Taking chances, not just for us, but for those who never had. And trust that we know, life gets hard and it gets real. So we don't take lightly anything we do while we're here. A youth in revolt? Still pushing. This. 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 is my moment. Because our future is a bag. Worth securing. Now, I know some of you guys are surprised that I'm like super rich. It's like, oh, why does she work? You know, and all of that stuff. I thought you guys could tell through my, through my wigs that I was rich, but I was like, clearly you guys didn't think so. So I had to come with the, you know what I mean? With the coats. And I have lots of these in every size and color imported from all over the world. Um, animal cruelty free though, I must say. And yeah, you know, even with my reality show that I have coming up because I'm rich, I just decided not to stunt on my fellow castmates because that wouldn't be fair. 